If you have funds on a centralized exchange called KuCoin, watch this video. It's important. Okay, so what's happened today is the U.S. Department of Justice has charged the two founders of KuCoin as well as a few other companies that are like integrated within that exchange with uh, charges of violating anti-money laundering laws. Now, really quick, what we know now is that these two founders were charged with these, uh, were actually had these charges put against them, but they have not been arrested. And it seems like people are still able to be making withdrawals from KuCoin. If you wanna know what KuCoin has to say about this, this has been published by their official Twitter account. They say, KuCoin is operating well and the assets of our users are absolutely safe. We are aware of the related reports and are currently investigating the details through our lawyers. KuCoin respect the, law the laws and regulations of various countries and strictly adheres to compliance standards. Uh, okay, I'm smirking there because KuCoin didn't implement KYC until 2023. Furthermore, they didn't retroactively require users that have joined before then to go through the KYC process. Yay. So kind of got to love that about KuCoin, <laughs> but this is probably why the U.S. Department of Justice is going after them. They can claim that because there's no KYC happening in that exchange, that they were facilitating money laundering, terrorist activities, and a whole lot of fraud and, and bad things, basically. Uh, if that's their basis for this court case, it will be very interesting to see how this moves forward, if they can actually prove that these allegations are true, because even in their own uh, statements, these prosecutors are saying allegedly, because this has not been proven in court yet. But they are claiming that about $30.2 million worth of crypto was received into KuCoin from... Tornado Cash, you guys remember that coin mixer that the Department of Justice tried to make a mockery of, tried to make basically a huge public enemy number one of, of freedom and safety of people. Tornado Cash is where all the bad guys are. Um, those, the founders of Tornado Cash are still, I believe, uh, in custody awaiting trial. And so now they're bringing that up yet again. And so I have to, you guys, this is, anyone who's cheering on for regulations, this is what you're getting. You're getting slapped with more KYC, which makes you more vulnerable to things like hacks and phishing attacks because you're giving up your sensitive information to third parties to store it. Guess what? Those third parties get hacked all the time. Your information is then leaked out onto the dark web and a hacker can make a purchase of your information with, a, with thousands of other people's information for incredibly, incredibly cheap prices. And then they can target you, try to get you to give them your cryptocurrency. So love KYC, definitely protects the end user. Scam. No, it doesn't, it's a scam. But again, this is a certainly evolving situation. KuCoin is saying that their assets are safe. Are they really? Do you really trust a centralized exchange to have custody over your coins? If you are hesitant at that, which I think you should be, please take action now while you still can. Withdraw your coins off of this exchange and into a wallet that you control. I don't think you will regret that decision. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had better news again, but again, really important information. Uh, hit like and subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.